guys, this is Nicole with Accessory at Etsy.com and I thought I'd make a little video to show you a journal that I created for myself from a conglomeration of videos that I had been watching on YouTube a while back and they weren't exactly this but I think after I watched so many and I looked at so many blog posts I kind of came up with something that would work for me and so I hope something in this video helps you with a project of your own. And so this cute little journal is 4x6 and it has got a little elastic closure. As you can see there's some stitching on it and it's just one little signature so it's 40 pages is all. But on the inside there's some manila folders in the front and there's one in the back and I have a tutorial on how to make these little guys that I will link to in the bottom. So anyway, let me tell you a little bit about this journal and how I came up with it with the help of my YouTube friends. So as you could probably guess, it is made from one of these 6x9 envelopes. And what I did was is I took one, I removed the clasp and the hole reinforcer, and then I glued this shut. I glued the whole thing shut. So however you choose to do that, um, I just kind of opened it like this and squirted some glue in there and made sure it was everywhere and then just gingerly flattened it out like that. And then I waited for it to dry and then I took a second envelope and I cut just the top off. And this is about two inches, I would say, from this little opening. I glued this shut, removed the clasp and the reinforcer and then I took my sewing machine and I stitched down this side. After I was done stitching, I took just some regular the glue that I used to journal what, with, I think it's the three in one, and I glued this down flap to flap like this. And the reason why I did that was to reinforce this end because this is just one even though this is two sheets of paper, two layers, this is just one. So by gluing that down, that reinforces that this flap for you, as you can see here. So you can see the stitching there, and you can see how this flap is now reinforced. And then what I did was I took um, a piece of this second envelope, and I cut another piece off of it, just in the middle, and that was an inch and a half wide and this is to reinforce the spine and so I kind of folded my journal and I figured out where the spine was going to be so that's the way it was facing and so I kind of folded it so that this flap would fold over nice and evenly and I found where I wanted the spine like this. And of course this piece was here. And what I did was I glued this together so that it wasn't a, a ring. And then what I did was I put it in my sewing machine and I stitched all the way around it. After I stitched all the way around it, I found where that, that spine was going to be and I kind of centered it over the spine and I glued that down. Once that was all done, I inked all the edges that I wanted to ink. So around the stitching and around the edges, and I didn't go real crazy as you can see, it's, it's not real dark, but I inked everywhere I wanted to ink. And then I used a matte medium and I coated the entire thing front and back. And I think I did two coats on each side and then I let that dry thoroughly and that's what gives it this um, this coat on it that helps it to stay nice and durable for you. Once that was done I took my sheets of paper and these this is just ten, ten pieces of paper that were folded in half to make a signature so that makes twenty and then front and back that makes forty pages. I added my little manila envelopes and some tags. I put an eyelet right already where the holes were. So I went ahead and used that space and I put 
this eyelet and this eyelet that I used was six millimeters so that's what fits that hole perfectly and then I took some of the black elastic cord and I just uh, threaded that through and tied a knot and there you go so anyway pretty simple huh anyway I thought maybe you guys would like to see that um, if I had more time in the day it has been raining all day long and it's super dreary and dark outside and it's already like 5.30 and the sun is about to go down. So had I more light, I would try to do the whole tutorial for you and make one from scratch. So maybe next time when I have more sunshine, I can do that for you. And then this video will be obsolete. But if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments and I will try to answer them for you the best that I can. This um, shout out goes out to all those YouTubers out there that are using these little envelopes to make journals with. Super neat idea. I just, you know, this is perfect for me. I don't need anything fancy. I just need something to go in my bag. Something I can put receipts in. And I think you guys can make one too. And I may end up, I have a Dymo. I may end up putting my name or something on it and putting a little tag or something here but I haven't really decided what I want maybe my name I don't know anyway thanks for watching guys I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time bye